This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopotions.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a circular typography animation inside of After Effects using some very simple and clever techniques. So, without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render com 1920 by 1080 30 FPS in 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's select our text tool and then you can type in anything that you want. I'm using the SF Pro display font. You are free to use any font. Uh, but make sure that you use a much bolder font so that the typography looks much better. So I'm going to type in typography. So here we have our text. I'm going to make it full caps. And let's bring down the size for now. Also, I'm going to bring down the kerning or spacing to around zero. And then what I'm going to do is select the ellipse tool and let's create a mask from the center. So I can turn on title action save just to be a bit more precise. And then I can just roughly draw a big mask you can hold ctrl and shift to draw a proper big circle just like so and then go right over here in the text properties path options and set the path from none to mask one and now our text is going to follow the mask that is the path that we just made now we can easily animate this using the last margin if you want to but the first thing that i want to do is switch the text to reverse so I'm going to reverse this up and that is what I am going for I can play around with the size a bit so let's keep it at around 100 and increase the spacing a little bit so we have a much more nicer look maybe I'll just set this to um, I'll just set this to 100 and let's increase the size a little bit or maybe let's put it down to 80 that looks good and yep something like that so that's looking nice now we can go ahead and animate our last margin so what i'm gonna do is let's set this to zero create a keyframe i'm gonna go two second and 15 frames forward in time and set this to around 400 and then let's go to around um, five seconds and let's set this to zero again so i can just simply copy paste this keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v so now we have something which looks like this which is pretty boring so let's make it a bit more interesting so what i'm going to do is select all the three keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and then make sure you right click and select edit speed graph and I'm going to create peak into the center. Now, the best way to do it is using a free After Effects script that is Keyframe Wingman, which comes with Animation Composer. And I have used it a number of different times. But let's do this the manual way. So I'm going to tweak this by holding Shift. I can just create a peak like so. I want to keep it a bit more intense like that. All right. And the same thing I'm going to do right over here as well. All right, so I'm going to drag this like so. And this one like that. So now we should get a much more interesting animation. As you can see, looks pretty cool. And I can just copy paste these keyframes again. So I'll go to around seven second and 15 frames. Let's copy this up. Control C, Control V. Let's go to 10 seconds. Let's copy this up. Control C, Control V. So basically we get a nice looping animation. So that is our first text. Let's select this hit control shift C to precompose it. I'll call this text underscore O one. I'm going to hit okay. So here we have our first text. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create few duplicates of this. So make sure you duplicate the composition into the project panel and not in the timeline. So I'll select this, hit control D few times to create more copies. So let's jump into a second text. And this time I'm going to select this, make this bold. And um, let's 
play around with the kerning a bit i'm gonna just set this to somewhere around there now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information check out the link in the description below so we are in the text too i'm going to select this and switch this to path and stroke basically and just set the stroke to around two so we only have stroke of our text um i think i'll go with uh let's set this to three all right that is looking much better then i'll jump into the third text and this time i'm going to change the font so i'll go with champion gothic and by the way you can download the free project file and link to all the phones and everything is in the description below so you can use that so i'm gonna increase this just a bit and also bring down the kerning let's increase the size a bit all right and then i can select this as you can see it goes out of the frame but we don't need to worry about it because we will be using the collapse transformation so that's fine so let's go into the fourth one and i'll bring down the size actually and bring up the kerning a bit more oh maybe what i'm thinking is let's copy paste this so i'll create a duplicate i'll hit ctrl c go right over here ctrl v let's bring down the kerning and we have something that looks like this all right that looks much better pretty good now let's assemble everything together so i'll go back into the render composition that is our final comp let's drag and drop in the second one that is i'm going to drag and drop it on the top let's hit s to bring down the scale properties also make sure you turn on the collapse transformation and i can just scale that down just like so then i'll bring down the third one Turn on collapse transformation hit s and let's scale that down so basically we just need to adjust it so that it looks good and because we have collapse transformation on we don't need to worry about scaling it more or less because we won't get any kind of pixelation and finally the fourth one pull that right over here and then what i can do is let's hide everything let's select just the second one that is our first text here i'm gonna select the ellipse tool again and let's create a mask from the center again so hold ctrl and shift and let's create a proper shape i'm gonna just keep it somewhere around there and then i'm gonna go into the mask feather property and let's feather this up somewhere around let's go with 60. also what i can do is if i'm not satisfied with the look i can play around with the mask expansion so i can hit ctrl shift h to hide the mask control layers and you know see the results and that is looking pretty good minus 20 works for me so now what i'm going to do is select the mask one hit ctrl c select this third text that we have that is this one hit ctrl v and there we have copy pasted our mask and all i have to do is hit u two times to reveal all the properties and play around with the expansion so depending on the look i'm going for i can just keep it somewhere around there maybe and play around with the feather a bit and that looks pretty good and this helps us to develop a depth into our typography so again i can select the third text in the line hit ctrl v so we have our mask as you can see and hit u two times and let's adjust the expansion there we go and finally the fourth one again hit ctrl v hit u two times this time i'm going to bring down the mask feather and also bring down the expansion so you get something like so maybe increase the feather a bit 
and there we go right off the bat you can see we get much more depth into our scene also i'm gonna actually select the second one right here hit u two times maybe increase the feather a bit more expansion a bit less just like so and also we can add some colors to add some nice style and flavor make it look sexy so let's select the third one go into effects and um, presets let's type in fill and double click to apply that up i can make it a bit darker something like that select this at control c and let's let's paste this here control v so that is looking pretty good as you can see now we can add some uh, displacement between them to create a much interesting look so what i'll do is let's move everything like two frames forward by each other so we have a little bit of displacement as you can see maybe a bit more i think we can go for three frames so one two three one two three have this nice displacement now at the start you can see it looks pretty weird so to fix this we can select everything right click time and enable time remapping and let's let's stretch them out just like so so now we have this really nice animation as you can see pretty cool and finally to create that in and out kind of a zoom uh, zoom animation or kind of an eye effect you can call it i'll go into the text let's go to around um let's select the layer hit u let's go around four seconds select this hit s create a keyframe go right over here at five seconds and 15 frames let's go to five seconds let's scale that up to 110 let's go to six seconds and bring that down again to 100 select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and create the same kind of peak that we created last time but this time i'm going to go into windows and use the uh, keyframe wingman which is a free script i have mentioned the link in the description to download it so i'll select the keyframes and let's tweak this from here just like so pretty easy and now we have this really cool look so now if i go into my main um render comp we should have this really nice look for our text so basically all i have to do is go into the text composition select these keyframes hit ctrl c go, go and select the third one go to four second ctrl v to paste that up go into the fourth one go to four second select it ctrl v to paste the keyframes and go to the first one go to four second select this and ctrl v so now we have something like pretty cool you can see it looks really really nice so as you can see using some very simple techniques you can create this cool typography animation which looks pretty awesome you can use this in a number of different ways like for instagram stories instagram post or if you have a sale going on on your website you can add a nice sale text about your product and maybe make it 50 percent off and something like that so that's a wrap guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out